Who are they? Jackpot? I guess this is going to be the new Sony Spider-Man spinoff movie? Let's find out who she is. All right, so Jackpot, she kind of swung into our lives on May 5th of 2007 on free comic book day, which is probably one of the best days for a comic book nerd <laughs> because, I mean, you get to go to the shop and get free books, and that's a pretty special time. So if, if you were going to the shop in 2007, you'd probably pick this book up. It was written by Dan Slott, and Phil Jimenez did the artwork. I'm very bad with, with last names, but I'll make sure to add add like their links or whatever to their, their social media platforms in case you want to check out some of their more work. Um, but yeah, no, she she swung in on a Spider-Man free comic book day, Spider-Man swing shift, which is, uh, I don't know, um, looking at this character, it seems like she's very lucky. Um, she's got this 777 belt, which is like a jackpot. Um, now, there are two different jackpot characters. There's the original jackpot character, who I believe was pregnant at the time, and she was working in a science lab or a laboratory where she was trying to develop a cure for Parkinson's degrees, which is very noble um, because Parkinson's is a horrible disease. And she something something happened accidentally that uh, affected her DNA and she slipped into a coma for a few months. And then when she came out, she had um, extraordinary powers. Um, but then l later on, like not not there short after she licensed the jackpot name to another crime fighting superhero that's. Uh, another jackpot 2.0 i don't know th this whole thing seems a little bit um odd to me uh th this character I, I i did read a little bit about her um i did read some of her issues actually um the second jackpot her first cameo appearance and her first appearance that spider-man storyline was really good because i sat here and binge read that and i was like wow this is actually a pretty good read i enjoyed it if you ever want to see spider-man with a gun not really spider-man but he, he's got the Spider-Man mask on. He's pointing a gun in your face. And if you ever want to see uh, Jonah Jane Janison well, have a heart attack, this is the book for you. <laughs> um, uh, so it is pretty cool. Um, but no, taking a little bit um, of, of a deeper dive into this character, she's kind of like a, a good vigilante in a way because she's not like Spider-Man in the sense that she works with the, the state of New York or the New York Police Department and is a, a licensed superhero. Um, and she has... It seems like she gets her ass kicked because um, <laughs> Spider-Man had to save her. Um, so it, it seems like she's very strong, not invulnerable, but she, you know, she she could hold her own in a fight. Um, I'm not sure if she could last getting hit by a train because Spider-Man asked her these words. Hey, you wouldn't have to be invulnerable, right? And she's like, you know what? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. I mean, a little bit. And he he quickly picked her up and and they rode that train all the way to Queens. Now, we're talking about Jackpot for the only the one reason, because Sony decided to make a Jackpot movie. They actually put a writer behind this, um, so this looks like a movie that actually is going to be happening. Um, I was very curious because they, they, they're making and coming out with a Morbius movie, which I'm, I'm kind of... I was very taken back when they, they said they're going to make a Morbius solo movie. Weird. Um, and then they announced Madam Web, which I do enjoy Madam Web. And you can hit this link up here and see my Who Are They Madam Web. Because I enjoyed Madam Web because I, I was introduced to her through the uh, Spider-Man animated series in the early 90s. And she, I was, she was like shrouded with mystery. Um, it seemed like they were going to try to maybe use her to go into the MCU universe. Which I just started watching the MCU films and they were freaking awesome. I'm about to enter into Phase 3. So if you're not watching those, make sure to check them out. This just seems a little bit more ridiculous. Like the Morbius, I could kind of get... The Madam Web, I'm reaching a little bit, but I kind of understand her own solo movie. This one, I, I, I just, I don't understand how you make a movie like this around this character. I would love, I would love for someone to tell me in the comment section why this would be a, an amazing film. What are some good reading points? Because the only reading points that for for this character that I've seen that that were pretty good wasn't the Amazing Spider-Man 546 to 549 ish. Um, those are the only ones I read of her that I thought were really good. Besides her, her true first, uh, the first, first jackpot in that free comic book day book. But I, I, I don't know. These are also all the keys. Um, the, the free comic book day is the first key. Um, we're seeing sales going online for about like 30 to 40 bucks, $20 to, um, like in that, in that ballpark range between 20 to 40 for the free comic book, for a free book. We're paying 20, 30, $40 for it. Good Lord. Um, and then we got, uh, amazing Spider-Man five. 46 which is the first cameo appearance of the second jackpot 
Yeah. <laughs> and then we got a 549 where we see a little bit more of her and uh, a little bit more in depth on the character, which is kind of cool. But yeah, you know, I, I like making these who are they videos because I, I like to sit down and binge read some books and really get into the nitty gritty of a character and then be able to relay some information back to you guys and maybe get you interested in buying one of these books. I'm having a really tough time this time doing this with this character. So I'm, I'm extremely like curious what they're going to do for the film. Now I do, I do, I, you know, I, I have the mental capacity to understand that the movies are different than the comics, right? I, I, I get that, but I, I like to know, are they just going to use the, the name and the outfit and then just do whatever the hell else they want and, and just make a new universe. That seems to be the only logical thing to me. So I, I would love to hear someone else's comments down below. Let me know if you got this free comic book day book because I don't, but I do know a shop that has a lot of free comic book day books for sale for a buck that I will definitely be checking out to see if they got this one in it. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure to check out my other who are they videos. I did Madam Web. I did Lobo. I did a few other characters. And if you ever want to know any about any other characters, just drop it down in the comment section down below because I will do a who are they on them. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.